Well, there are very many ways to produce a planting schedule or a plant list in landscape drawings. If I zoom in on this design here, you can see that individual plants have been labelled with an arrow and the number of plants in that group is also added up. So Snow Hill, Salvi, there are five of them are to be used in that zone through there. But there are other ways to generate a plant list. You can see in this instance, if I come over here and zoom in, the plant list has been divided up into tall trees, shrubs and so on. And again, the numbers are written down there. That can get a little tedious to produce schedules in that way. And GCAD Plus gives you an opportunity to make an automated plant schedule. So let's go to GCAD Plus plant lists and we'll show the symbols that have names. So the ones that are highlighted, and we'll concentrate on the ones here on the right hand side, have all been tagged with a name. And let's see how that's done. Say for the sake of argument, I want to come over here and tag this particular plant, which in order for me to find out what it is, I have to go up here. It's a Stuart Sonia Azalea. So I would go GCAT plus, I would set data to a plant and pick there and then find the azalea, the, the particular azalea that I want. Um, and I think it was probably under, let's sort on botanical name, it was probably under rhododendron azalea. I'm not quite sure how this was done. The QR, I'm looking for rhododendron azalea. There it is. So I tag it and OK it. Now when I use the tool to show symbols with names that one has now been tagged so you work your way through and all of these symbols have been tagged and to draw a plant, plant schedule I'll just move outside of the drawing I'll do it here it'll be a little ugly but you'll get the idea and I can move it later so I'm now going to draw the schedule so I draw the schedule the prompt says you would want the column with a red circle, I'll say no for the moment. Do you want to put the common name under the botanical name? Well, in this instance, this drafter did not do that, so I'll go no. And now we can draw our schedule. So I'll simply draw it. Might need a couple of attempts to get it to look right in terms of text, size, height, and so on. So there's our plant schedule, botanical name listed here, common name, and the total. So. In order to identify this particular plant here, you just look down the schedule there and you see there's its symbol, it's, a, it's the grey owl juniper. So that's one way of producing a plant schedule. And I can pick that schedule up and move it, say, well away from the design itself. What I could then do is go into Format and Layout Space. And I could make a, a little layout using the piece of paper that is the smallest piece of paper that is attached to my printer and it happens to be an A4 but it could be a, um, a US size sheet and I'll say OK. So there's layout 2 and if we double click in here now and just put our view border around there and then display on the layout and deactivate the viewport. Now we've got our plant schedule showing, I'll turn the grid off and we can then plot it out. So from one model with layout sheets, we can easily produce a plant schedule. Now that schedule can be updated as we work our way through. And uh, in, in this case, I might well remove some of those uh, red instances. We've already tra tagged the Stuart Sonia Azalea, so we can move, remove that and the arrow head and we're in business so there are different ways that's not to say that you can't label species the way it's done but if you want to automatically tag and label and count uh, then it's a relatively easy thing to do to attach a text list a plant guide list if you like which in this particular instance has got some 300 odd plants with it work plant species that i work with and, can, and know and they can be sorted and we can find and tag the plants that we want.